Hello, hello there, neighborinos. I've got four stories for you today. First one is a few game releases that are set to come out later this year and early 2020, but probably early 2020. Next up, I've got some Final Fantasy VII Remake news that GameStop dropped on us. And then on top of that, we have some Game of Thrones VR game news that we just may be able to look forward to soon. And then on top of that, there is another new game we can expect here in the next few weeks, months, probably, called Telefrag, that I'll be touching on later on in the, in the video. So first off, I do need to talk about a few games that we can expect at the start of next year. Those include Cyberpunk 2077, The Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, a George R. R. Martin from Software game, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and a few AAA Ubisoft titles. And a couple of those I do need to touch on for obvious reasons. So, late last month, for starters, I did talk about Cyberpunk a little bit in, in suggesting that it would likely come out later this, later this year at, in November. However, that the studio has pushed down that date as they thought November would be a bit optimistic. However, we should be able to learn more information about its release date and when that's likely to come out during E3 at the end of this week. Next up, I also need to talk about Last of Us 2. That one I touched on back in April, bringing up the fact that they had just finished motion capture and the gap between motion capture and full release of the game in many of Naughty Dog's other project, projects was typically around six to seven months pushing that release date down to November of this year. However, in the event that that one is delayed, that one may get pushed to next year. However, we will be able to expect more concrete evidence out of E3 this, this weekend as well on that one. And I'm, I'm not sure if you know George R.R. R. Martin or From Software. Martin is, of course, the, the original writer that Game of Thrones is... That Martin is the writer who created the Game of Thrones franchise. And From Software created the games that you may know as Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. you probably heard of those. Maybe. And, of course... Obviously, there's going to be a few Ubisoft titles because you, you never know. You can't really, you can never have enough Assassin's Creed, I guess. But that's about it. Like I, I don't think I touched on the source of this, but that would come out of Jason Schreier from Kotaku, who has quite a bit of accuracy when it comes to making these types of predictions of the past. So I, I feel like these ones are things we can expect or trust to some degree. Now the next thing I do have to talk about is a Final Fantasy VII Remake leak that was put out by GameStop. This was a listing for Final Fantasy VII for the Xbox One. Up until this point, I had purely thought that it would be only in development for the PlayStation 4 and the Pro. But it makes sense when you think about it that the developers would try to push it out to more consoles, try to make more money. But still, I had thought that it was purely in development for the PS4 because that's what the original version was. PlayStation exclusive. The original listing on the GameStop website was for 75 euro. And that link to the source that I'm citing is going to be in the description down below. So you can check that link out for yourself. Now the next thing I have to talk about is another George Martin project. A, another Game of Thrones style experience in virtual reality about five minutes long to be precise so this thing is exclusive to Viveport 
However, as of the 6th, as long as you have access to a PC VR headset, whether it be the Vive, the Rift, or Windows Mixed Reality, then you will have access to it. Viveport is a store, and Viveport Infinity is a streaming service with a membership fee. $13 per month or $99 a year. Depends how you want to attach it. But, like I said, 5 minute long experience, Game of Thrones, is set beyond the northern wall of Westeros, so do keep that in mind, I guess. Do you feel like playing Doom in PvP? Well, guess what? There's a new game called Telefrag where you can do just that. Well, maybe not PvE part, but you'll still be able to get the PvP part for sure. So, like I said, Telefrag comes out summer 2019. That's all we really know. And there's still going to be the, the shooting pew 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 and the teleporting exploding. And, you know, there's, there's going to be all kinds of guns and teleporting and stuff and jumping and running and remap spaces and impossible spaces and arenas and 1v1s and leaderboards and all that kind of stuff. If you guys are still here, don't forget to check out my next video when I'll be going over some Google Stadia information and a stream we can expect here in the next few days, as well as another new study that tries to link children's violent video game habits to violence in real life. I believe that's a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.